Okay, we're going to be discussing how to remove the AIS system from a Yamaha V-Star 1100 Custom. These are the things you're going to need. A large hammer, a strong metal thick post, metal or a file as I'm using, two 45 caliber shells, a large screwdriver, and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, and most importantly, a beer. Now remove your side cover from the side of your bike. This is going to expose the, the pump as well as your 2, 1, 2 AIS system things. Now normally, here's your pump again right here and here's your systems. Normally this tube flows straight through to here and this tube here flows straight through to here. Before you disassemble this thing, test it out. Just run your pump into itself and then take these two tubes and run them into themselves. That basically disables your AIS system, but it allows you to test it out before you do permanent damage. Now here's the trick. Here's the trick. We're going to follow this little AIS system tube all the way up to the front cylinder. Once at the front cylinder, you're going to realize you got this little nub right here. Okay, that's just like machined into the cylinder. And to get rid of it, all you need is your file and your hammer. You put it behind the bike. And you're going to knock it out. It's going to take about 20 hits. I already did this one, but here's a simulation. Bam, 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 bam. Down. and then you're going to see this little nub come out which is like the length of a 45 shell right here now once that nub dub does come out which is pictured right here you're going to take a screwdriver and your 45 shell and you're just going to Put your 45 shell in place there and go pound, 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 pound until you got a 45 shell in there. Now I happened on mine to leave, I pounded it in to this uh, part right here. I did not pound it into the head because if you ever need to get that out for any reason, you're really probably going to enjoy this little niche here. But this is pretty much where the other part was. So leave that little head if I was you. Now once you've knocked that hub out, on your initial AIS system, you're going to have two brackets. As it is, there's the, the first side. There's going to be a bolt here and here. You're going to remove this entire bracket. Okay, once your casing here is out of these two bolts down here, I don't know if you can see both of them, your clutch cable is going to be freewheeling now, but you want to put these bolts back in because not only do they hold this bracket on, it looks like they hold your, uh, your covering on down to your oil pan too. So put these both back in in those same holes. 5 millimeter Allen wrench. Now there's another guy on YouTube that told us to take all these parts off as well as the exhaust. I'm telling you not to do that because actually these parts being cinched as they are to that hub you got to pound out actually act as leverage. And to show my point, here's the file I'm going to use to pound the hell out of it. And look how nicely it holds my file in there even. Once you get all these those nubs pounded out you'll be able to take this thing out in one piece rather than disassemble your exhaust and disassemble all the little uh, clips that hold these things onto the hubs etc. Now this camera is on the left hand side of the bike where I'm going to be pounding on this hub I just showed you from the right hand side and I'll show you in real time how this works
there's the mother right there. See the cylinder? It's out right here. Okay, so let's review, kids. We've looped our pump into itself and the AIS system into itself for our test, right? So in essence, once you've knocked out both of those plugs on the front cylinder and the back cylinder, your AIS system should be just one long little tube. So you should be able, in theory, to remove it because your clutch cable now is loose and just pull it on through kind of animal style here but it looks like in this case I might have to take a hose off or two but basically to do that you will just pull it off like so and then pull this other dude off we're back on the right hand side of the bike Ugh, a little muscling never hurt anyone, did it? So here we are. There is the shorter half. Here was the left hand side of the bike. And here, well, it's probably going this way I guess, was the right hand side of the bike. Like that. So these two were connected at this hose. These two were in your cylinder heads. You didn't have to take off these clamps, you didn't have to take off your uh, tube cinches, nothing. Just rip it off. You now we're back on the left hand side of the bike. As you can see, there's a hole left here from where you removed that AIS hub. All you need to do this is your trusty 45 shell. A screwdriver, a wide tip to bang it in, and your trusty hammer. I might add one thing I want to do is take a trusty rag with a smaller screwdriver and kind of wrap it around and kind of clean out that hole in there because the other one had some pretty nasty grime and you want a decent seal when you're doing this. So there's our hole. Here's our 45 shell, we're just going to stick it in there, like so. Take our trusty hammer and our screwdriver, tap, 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 and it kind of gets starts getting crosshairs on it, so you want to kind of do it like so. I left a little lip on there. I mean the major part of the shaft is inside that cylinder and there's a little lip just in case you ever got to get that sucker out. It is airtight though. Guarantee you that. So at the end of the day you did not have to remove the hose clamps because here's living proof and you did not have to remove the exhaust, which is living proof on the other side, it's still connected. Your 45s go here on this cylinder and on the opposite side in this cylinder. This is it. It took like five minutes this way. And lastly, put your side cover back on. This was a 2002 Yamaha V Star 1100 Custom with carburation which means your future model fuel injection models if they make them that way isn't going to apply to this. 